Every day. What? Every afternoon. Yep. When you buy them, do you buy them as a full or do you buy them? No. We're here at Ferry House today to remember the most famous race meeting in Irish history. And it was famous not for what happened on the track, but what happened off the track. It was Easter Monday, 1916. 25,000 people, including much of the British Army top brass in Dublin, were here for the Irish Grand National, which was one of the biggest days out of the year for Dublin people at the time. When news filtered through here of the Easter Rising, the British Army uh, commandeered every single vehicle they could find, every horse box, every lorry, every transport, and the trains were all stopped. So anybody who was here had to walk back to where they had come from. The winners of all the Irish Grand Nationals since 1870 are remembered on this wall. In 1916, the race was won by the 5-1 to one shot, all sorts. The winning jockey was Jackie Lynn from Longford. My name is Johnny Lynn. I'm a son of Jack Lynn, who rode the winner of the Irish National here in 1916. I'm very happy to be here today. I didn't think I would live to see this. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember much about my father. I was only 10 years of age when he died. But I've got this all the papers and friends who told me all about him. His brother were rode in the same, rode in the Grand National the same day, he finished fourth. Willie Lynn, he was off after killed later on in a fall at Gowden Park. And his son Johnny was killed in a fall in Sutherland, England. My brother Mickey was killed in a fall at Sandown Park. He was a stable jockey for Captain Gerald Baldy. Also present at this historic reunion 100 years after the event was Connie Cleary, the granddaughter of the winning trainer Dick Cleary, and Frank Kiernan, the grandson of the owner James Kiernan. Carl Sartz, the winner of the 1916 Irish National, would have been his biggest win. He also won the Cunningham Cup in 1921, a big race in Punchstown with mask on. And uh, my father actually bred a horse to take time that was second in the Irish National in 1960. They had three horses that day and they travelled back to Manute to take the, the goods train down to Streamstown. But when they arrived in Manute, there, there, was, there was no trains, so they had to take, go, they took the canal line down to Clonard, and the horses stayed there for a, for a couple of days and then continued their journey back down to Streamstown. They had to go by road. <laughs>